Hi guys, it's Danny here, and today we're going to have a look at the guitar you might have seen me playing. This is my Sir Classic S Antique, and it used to be Olympic white, but it's starting to look a lot greener now because it's aging beautifully. Let's check it out. So this guitar was built in 2020, and I think I bought it uh, mid-year 2021, something like that. I can't believe it's taken me this long to do a demo of this guitar, but I've had plenty of time to get used to it. So we should say that this is kind of a long-term player's review. I've used this extensively in the studio and it holds up beautifully live as well. I absolutely love it. This is a very refined Stratocaster. Let's not beat around the bush. That's, that's what this guitar is. Beautiful guitar shape. All the, you know, the, the shape of the body is just iconic. I think that's the thing that most of his guitar players are kind of drawn to. Might be a bold claim, but we've seen so many of our guitar heroes playing guitars of this this shape and this design. Let's get into the specs anyway. All right, I'll give you a quick rundown of what this guitar's got. So this, like I said before, this started out as Olympic white. This is a nitrous cellulose finish. Now, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of, for me, it's kind of got a bit of a green thing going on. And I think that's what all guitars tend to do really, but it's aging beautifully. You can see how much it's it's it used to be the same colour as this parchment pit guard, and it's it's changed that much. Um, whether or not it's sunlight or I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it's done it. But there's lots of chips. <laughs> so when I bought this guitar, there's a few little marks on it that are, that are from the factory. Uh, it's like light aging. I'll do some close-ups for you so you can see the checking. Um, it's really cool when you get close up to it. It might not even show up on the camera, but most of these chips are from me. I'm incredibly clumsy and I'm not particularly careful, but that's something I love about this. I love relic guitars. I love the fact that I pick this up and I don't have to be particularly careful with it. I can just play and if I knock it, I'm not really, I know it's bad, but I don't, I don't really care as much. Um, I obviously love the guitar and I care about the guitar, but um, most of these are from taking my guitar strap off and the buckle smashing into the paint and gradually chipping it away. Um, you might be able to see on the, on the close-up of the lacquer that's on the edge of the fretboard. This is starting to wear away where I've been playing as well. We've got a two-piece older body. It's a, it's a good weight. It's, I think it's just under the eight-pound mark, something like that. Parchment three-ply pickguard. Goto 510 bridge with bent steel saddles. Just to point this out because this is something that used to bug me on and the straps that I've had before. The the Allen screws are, I mean, you can do this on your own strap. You can buy the shorter Allen screw so that they recess below the, the top so you don't get that sharp feeling underneath your, your palm. Top tips. Steel block. We've got a tone for the for the humbucker, which is a SSV. Now it's quite a, it's a vintage sounding humbucker. It's very bright, lots of mids. It's very articulate, not overly compressed, um, but it's got plenty of punch. It takes gain and fuzz really, really well. Um, and it cleans up really nice with the volume. So this tone control controls these two pickups, which are v S V63s um, single coils. So they're pretty, you know, vintage sounding s single coils. But it's got a silent system, which I believe is like a dummy coil, which is under under the pick guard here, and it helps remove all of that 60 cycle hum, which it just oh, it annoys me like crazy, especially with lighting and the computer screen and, and you know certain venues where the, the power is not particularly great so this this system just gets rid of all that annoying noise and uh, people can just hear my annoying noise so we've got a five five way selector which is just traditional um, uh, position one humbucker position two these two pickups middle these two neck pickup I've got plenty of tones in this video to show you what it sounds like. I've got a solid maple neck. The neck profile is a 60s vintage C medium. Now this is a good, this is a good size neck. It's not quite as chunky as a couple of my Pori Smiths, which have got wide fat necks. I'd say the only difference really is the, the nut width. It's, I think this is around about 42, 43 millimeters, if you're metric. So it goes from nine to 12 inch for the fretboard radius, which is really nice. It feels comfortable for chords down here. I mean, that's the idea of this. So we generally play open chords down here. And then by the time we go up to this dusty end, um, oh, destroy my plant. I've always thought Les Pauls feel quite nice, higher up the register with that 12 inch radius. Um, it's got that kind of feel. Stainless steel frets. Now these are 
mediums, I believe, but there's still plenty of meat on them and it's gonna take me forever to wear through these things. Got a Tufts Nut Sir Locking Tuners. And they're staggered as well, so we don't need a string tree as well, which is all good for, I mean, the tuning stability on this thing is crazy. So it really is great. And the intonation is fantastic as well. I've got this strung up with 10 to 46. I don't know if you've played a stainless steel fretted guitar before, but the way that the bends feel across the frets, it's, it's so smooth. And when you slide, it's really comfortable. It's just, yeah, a proper workhorse. Credit due, really. Right, first up, what I like to do is demonstrate how a certain instrument can inspire me to create some music. That's the whole point for me. This track I put together using this guitar and I try to utilize the different sounds the best I can within the space of a minute, minute track. So let's have a listen to that and I hope you like it. Here we go. What I'm going to do is show you the sweep of the controls just using a G chord and show you how the pickups and the, the tone and the volume controls react uh, just ringing out of that chord. Let's see what the guitar controls can do. Here we go.
Right, next section. The the part that you've probably skipped forward to anyway, but it's all the isolated tones and I've used a selection of amps, a selection of pedals, which I've documented in the clips. And I've gone from clean sounds right through to lead sounds to fuzz to heavy, super tight stuff. Let's see what this guitar can do tonally. Here we go.
managed to stick through this <laughs> ridiculously long video and you've enjoyed the tones and the demo track I've tried my very best to show what this guitar can do and if you if you do get a chance check out the parallax method folie toi which is our debut album we're a progressive instrumental rock band and this guitar was pretty much exclusively the guitar on that album and we covered everything from or at least we tried to covered everything from rock through to blues jazz country metal everything we tried to have a go at it anyway and this guitar kind of covers up well i like to think it covers all those those tones with ease really it takes pedals like a champ it's aging like a gem it plays beautifully holds its tune in frets will never wear out it also comes with this really cool um let me just put this in because when i first got this guitar um i thought what is going off here <laughs> It looks like a fretless, but it's like a, a little guard. Since it's a nice little finishing touch. They care about you. Killer guitar. It still looks classy like the guitars from 70 years ago, but it's just been improved and, you know, it's got that modern playability. But I mean, what more could you want, really? The list of players that play Sir guitars now, they're all like, top notch. I mean, you've got to check some of them out. James Norbert Avani being one of them. Awesome player, great dude. Um, Ian Thornley, Pete Thorne, Andy Ward, Scott Henderson. Um, Matez, so there's just so many amazing players that, that use Sirs. I think that speaks volumes really when, when players like that choose choose these uh, instruments really. If you're looking for a fantastic Strat, I, I wouldn't really look much further. It is killer. I'll be keeping this one. <laughs> anyway, if you've got any questions, just message below or message me and I'll try my best to, to answer and help. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.